determinant method determinant method grammar arthatas eka mathematician cha naav aslyamule it is a name of mathematician that's why grammar's rule now see in grammar's rule what we have to do is see our ultimate aim is same every time our ultimate aim is to find the values of variables <clears throat> it may be x y a b p q s t m n whatever it is but we have to find the values of variable in other words we have to find the solution now to find the solution in exercise 1.1 we have seen a method in that method what we have done in that method we have we, we eliminated one variable and we found the value of other we substituted that value and we got the value of the second variable also that is one method another method is <coughs> two equations are given to you just draw their graphs and the graphs are nothing but the lines whenever wherever those lines intersect that point is nothing but the solution of those two lines that is the graphical method this is the cramer's rule the determinant method determinant method here we use one mathematical structure it is called determinant shown by two particular two vertical lines two vertical lines it is shown by whose value is always positive whenever it is solved we will get positive value for that now we will see how we apply this determinant method how we solve the simultaneous equations by using cramer's rule now whenever we try to solve the question we have given two equations we call them linear equations in two variable we solve them at the same time hence they are called as simultaneous linear equation now let us take for example uh, let us take any two examples uh, okay a1x b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 you may take this or a2x plus b2y is equal to c2 you may take the constant term on right hand side also is equals to c1 now as the name suggest here we have to find three determinants three different determinants they are named as d dx and dy d dx and dy okay now when you have to find d what you have to do is from these two linear equations a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 these are the six values every time out of these six values we have to take out four values for example to find the value of d what we have to do we have to <coughs> take the values of a1 b1 a2 b2 after solving it i will tell you how to solve them we just have to cross multiply them a1 into b1 Uh, sorry a1 into b2 minus a2 into b1 to find the value of dx d suffix x what we have to do is d suffix x is can be found by c1 a1 sorry c1 b1 c2 b2 c1 b1 c2 b2 rest of the case is the same just cross them b2 c1 b1 c2 having 
minus sign in between them. Okay. Dy <coughs> dy is also very easy. A one C one A one C one A two C two A one C one A two C two. Here also the remaining rest of the cases A one C one A one C two minus A two C one in this way. Then after getting now, as I said earlier, our ultimate aim is to find the values of x and y. But here we did we do not get <coughs> we have not obtained <coughs> sorry we have not obtained x or y. But instead of that, we got three variables. Oh, sorry, three different values, determinant values. The further procedure is like this. After getting d dx dy, what we have to do is simply find x. By dividing your dx by d, here you are going to get numerical values. I will explain it by using one example. X dx by d. Y dy by d. In this way, after getting x and y, obviously the problem is over. In this way, we have to solve it. Okay. Now we will take one example so that you will you will understood the whole procedure, Cramer's rule or determinant method. Here we have written one question, these two equation. Okay. Now after getting these two equations, what we have to do is first of all we have to see whether these equations are in standard form or not. As we have seen here. A A x plus b y is equal to c. A x plus b y is equal to c. They are already in the standard form. Now, whenever <coughs> the equations are not in standard form, we have to convert them in in the standard form. And after that, in front of those equations, what you have to do is a one x plus b one y is equal to c one. A two x plus b two y is equal to c two. You have to write down the standard equations in front of our given equations, and after doing this, what you have to do is you have to compare the given equations with the standard equations, and you have to find the values of a one b one c one and a two b two c two. A one x two x so a one is two. B1 is B1Y minus 3Y, so here it is minus 3 is equal to C1 is equal to 14, so C1 is 14. In this way, A2 5, B2 2, C2 16. Okay, now you got six values: A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. Now find the values of three determinants. You have to learn those determinants. D means a one b one a two b two. D x means c one b one c two b two. And d y means what is the meaning of d y? D y will be a one c one a two c two. Okay. First of all, find the value of d. A one B one A two B two A one B one A two B two. Put the values of A one B one A two B two here also. A one B one A two B two two minus three five two 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 minus three five two. If you change the sequence, this this is not just. A determinant, but it is a formula also. So you cannot change the sequence. You have to substitute the values, and let us see what you are going to get. Two twos are four minus five into minus thirteen minus fifteen. So minus into minus plus fifteen plus four nineteen. It is nineteen. Then now. Okay, one one thing which I have to explain, I will explain it at the end. Then d x d suffix x. 
We read it dx, but you have to write out, write down it in this way, dx. What is the value of dx? It is c1 b1 c2 b2. So just put the values of c1 b1 c2 b2. 14 minus 3 16 2. 14 minus 3 16 2. So 14 2s are 28 minus. This is the minus of formula. And 16 into minus 3, 16 3s are minus 48. So this multiplication comes from the formula. And this uh, sorry, this minus sign comes from the formula. And this minus sign comes from the due to multiplication. So minus 28 minus into minus plus 48. Minus 28 plus 48, you got 76. 76. 76. Then dy dy you need to remember you have to learn this because I saw in many cases whenever students face the exam, whenever they are they solve this question during the exam they get confused. They do not remember what was dx and d and d. You have to practice it more and more. Okay? So, your dy is a1, c1, a2, c2. a1, c1, here you have to a1, c1, 2, 14, a2, c2, 5, 16, 2, 14, 5, 16, 2, 14, 5, 16, 16, 2 is 32 minus. 14 5 2s are 70 32 minus 70 minus 38 okay minus 38 okay now x what is the value of x x is dx upon t your dx is 76 your d is 19 19 kitne ka 19 4s are 76. What about y? y is dy by d. dy minus 38. d 19. 19 2s are 38. x comma y is nothing but 4 comma minus 2 is the required solution <laughs> required solution okay in this way we have finished this question okay yeah okay students see I have written one more question here now if you see the difference between this question and the previous question here we have to arrange the equation in standard form simple arrangement for example let us take the x term here write down the y term Shift the constant number to right hand side, it will be 19, and then a1x b1y is equal to c1. Then write out the standard form in front of that. Here also a slight change is needed 2x minus 3y, shift 3 to right side, it will be minus 3. So a2x b2y is equal to c2. After doing this, what we have to do? Yes, we have to find the values of a1, a2, the a1, a2 from these two points, 2, 2, okay, b1, b2, we have to see, yeah, here it is 1, here it is minus 3, okay, c1, c2, 19 is a c1 and c2 is minus 3, okay, 19 and minus Okay. Now, yes, simply we have to find three determinants a1, b1. Now, here see, we will do one thing. We will directly take the values. See, when you solve these questions at home, what you have to do is, you have to repeat the formula every day. Because when you repeat the same formula twice, thrice, four times, five times, you will be used to with that formula. You are used to with that formula and automatically the formula will learn. Okay. Now here 
I can put them directly. But we have to remember what was our D? Our D was a one b one a two b two a one b one a two b two two one two minus three two one two minus three two one two minus three two into minus three minus six minus two into one two minus six minus two minus eight. Then we got d x. What was our d x? What was our d x? Our d x was c one b one c two b two c one b one c two b two c one b one means nineteen one c two b two means minus three minus three. So nineteen three is our fifty seven minus minus three into one minus three. So here it is. Here you got the value minus fifty seven minus into minus plus three minus fifty seven plus three minus fifty four. You got the value minus fifty four. Then d y. What is d y? A one c one a two c two. A one c one a two c two. In this we have to pick the values. Okay, and try to write down the problem as it is. Because when you write down the problem in this way, horizontally and when you put the values vertically, it is easy to pick the values. Okay, don't try to pick the values directly from the equation. Surely you are going to make mistakes while doing that. Okay, so just write down that one step is increased, but it is good for our convenience. Divide. So what was our divide? A one C one two nineteen. A two C two two minus three. In this way. Two into minus three, minus nineteen two is thirty-eight. Thirty-eight, and after doing that, you get minus forty-four. Minus forty. Now find the values of x. What was our x? Ha! Here our d is minus eight, which is not equal to zero. As it is a non-zero, it is not equal to zero. It means these two equations have solution, and to find the solution means to find the values of x and y. What is your x? dx by d so minus 54 upon minus 8 minus minus will get cancel and after reducing that 27 by 4 24s are 8 227s are 54 okay what about y what about y dy by d what was our d1 Minus forty-four charges upon d minus eight. Both are divisible by two. Got eleven by two. So the values x comma y are twenty-seven by four comma eleven by two. In this way, we have finished this question. Okay. Tomorrow we will take more questions on grammar. Okay, uh, maybe one or two questions, and after that we will begin our next part. Okay, here today we will stop, and uh, on Monday uh, we will take a batch on Zoom. Okay, uh, maybe at 4:30 p.m. Okay, thank you.